Okay guys, this is a tutorial to show you guys how to use Winterboard. If you don't have Winterboard downloaded already, download it. It's just like a summer board from the old 1.1.4 like, versions, or the 1.1.1 for Mars. And th it is not as user friendly as the other ones. It is still a great, strong program. As you can see, I have Winterboard downloaded there. And in the new version now, it just updated, you have one little slider on the side here so you can take and then dry, drag them. Okay, but the cool part about this new version is you can have more than one chosen at a time. So I'll show you here, look, like my, my wooden theme. There's my wooden theme. Uh, I made it in Photoshop. Ah, uh, sorry. It has three springs. I just opened it. Anytime you open it and close it, it'll respring. Okay. Okay, but as you see there, it's my wooden theme. And you could use this new version of Winterboard as almost a theme builder, since you can select more than one at a time. So if I have my theme there, the wooden, and I go down here and click, see, see that right there, transparent icon labels? I'll choose that one. And I will choose black navigation bars. See that there, black navigation bars. So now I have all three of those selected. Okay, now I'm going to go home. It's going to respring. And then what it's going to do is it's going to mush all of those themes together. So basically, I'm going to have my wooden theme with no icon labels, and I'm going to have a black bars. Wait till it respring's. Unlock it. As you can see now, I have no icon labels. If I go into, like, settings, see up there, I have now a black settings bar. So it all looks pretty cool, and it's really user-friendly. So, I know I talked crap about Winterboard last time in one of my other videos, but I was just stupid and didn't know what I was talking about. <laughs> okay, but now, it's really user-friendly, it is really easy, so go download it. If you want my theme, it'll be up in the description, and bye.